Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel. Is this your first time of coming to my channel? Thanks a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. So in today's tutorial, we are going to make a simple video on how to achieve your children size chart okay we are looking at children size charts in today's tutorial so i have a previous video on female size charts i'm going to go ahead and link that in the description box below if you are interested in knowing like your female size charts but in today's tutorial we are going to be looking at children size charts starting from three months to 12 years okay now i will also say that when you want to pick out a measurement or a size for children it is also necessary for you to consider the size of the child now what i mean by that is this you can have like a child of two years and then you have a child of four years but mind you that the child of four years or the baby of four years might be bigger or have like a bigger size compared to the child of four years so it would be so unfair for you to use the same two years measurements for such child because the child is actually like on a big size so for children you will also consider like how big or how slim they are in order for them to fit into a size so they are not really limited based on the age but rather how big they are or how small they are so a child of two years the measurement or the size chart for a child of two years might fall under four years size chart and while a child of four years the measurements might fall under two years size chart so also consider the size of the baby when you want to pick out the when you want to pick out the size okay now especially if you are looking at going into ready to wear for children then it's also necessary for you to have like your size chart where you will just walk um, work with size charts in which you are going to work with and then make your production based on the size chart and I'm going to say that we have like the detailed size chart on the website we have the detailed size chart on the website but for today's tutorial I'm only going to be considering these points which I feel like they are the basic points required when you want to achieve your size chart but if you want like the detailed size chart which has about 12 variables to consider then go and check out my website all i'm going to do is i'm going to put down the link of the website in the description box so you can go ahead and watch it and also print it out from the website that's amazing right so check out the website link in the description box and then you have like a detailed um size chart which is also printable right now aside that now what are the basic things required when you want to consider creating or dealing with children dresses now we have the bust waist hip shoulder neck and arm hole and i'm going to be contributing from three months to 12 years three months to 12 years okay so don't forget to join us on facebook city designs and on instagram cg designs all the details are going to be in the description box below and also visit our web now for the bust for three months the bust for three months we have 18 inches we have 18 inches we're going to start from the bust waist and hip all the way for all the sizes then we'll move to the arm or the shoulder and all of that so now i'm um, the measurements are in inches note that the measurements are in inches so you can go ahead and like convert it to centimeter if what you deal with is centimeter so now for three months we have 18 inches for the bust we have 18 inches for the bust for the waist we also have 18 inches and for the hip we have 19 inches most times you also discover that for children the bust and the waist are like almost the same measurement because they don't have this bust that kind of like differentiates the bust from the waist for adults okay so we have 18 inches 18 and the hip is 19 inches now for six months um, for six months for six months we have 19 19 20 okay for six months the bust is 19 inches the waist is 19 inches and then the hip is 20 inches 
now for 12 months for 12 months we have 20 inches we have 20 inches we have 19.5 and then we have 21 inches this is for 12 months now for two years 12 months is basically the same as one year so you can just like take note that the 12 me month measurement also serves as the one year measurement okay now the next one we have to move on to now is the two years now for two years what we have is the bust is 21 the waist is 20 and then the hip is 22 inches so you will see that as the child also progresses as the child also grows the measurement begins to fall like adult measurements whereby you have like bust measurement is different from your waist and your waist measurement is different from the hip measurement so now we have three years so for three years the bust is 22 inches the waist is 20.75 and the hip is 23 inches this is for three years old now the next one now we have is four years so for four years the bust is 23 the waist is 21.5 and then the hip is 24 inches and then the hip is 24 inches now we we'll move to five years old so for five years now the bust is 24 the waist is 22.5 and then for the hip we have 25 inches we have 25 inches so now we have six years we have six years so for the six years now the bust is 25 the waist is 23.5 and then the hip is 26 inches this is for six years old now for eight years we have the bust to be 27 the waist is 25 and the hip is 28.5 so now the next one we are going to deal with now is for 10 years so the bust for 10 years is 29 29 inches the waist is 26 and then the hip is 31 inches now for 12 years for 12 years we have bus 31 bus 31 we have waist 27 and then we have hip 33 so if you want me to make another tutorial where we are going to start from 12 years upwards just kindly comment in the put your comments in the comment section and let me know if you want me to make a tutorial starting from 12 years and above so drop that in the comment section so we've gone ahead now to have our bust measurements waist and our hip measurements and don't forget that i said that don't use your age don't limit the age when you are dealing with children measurements but rather you consider like the size of the child to know where to fit in do you understand what i'm saying so if you do just put it down in the comment section that you guys understand what i'm trying to say now we are done with the bust waist and the hip measurement so the next thing now we are going to consider now is the shoulder measurements right the shoulder measurements from three months to 12 years measurements for three months shoulder measurements for three months we have eight inches we have eight inches now for six months we have 8.25 8.25 for 12 months which is also one year we have 8.5 8.5 now for two years we have 8.75 so children shoulder just varies with little inches from age to age it's not like the adult um shoulder whereby in the female shoulder whereby you can have like 16 you can have 14 like the difference between one size to the other is like one or two inches but for children you just like difference of about 0.5 or 0.25 that is what you'll be adding to each measurement because that's basically like how their shoulder measurements kind of flow so just take a look at the shoulder measurements and you understand the arithmetic behind this shoulder measurements for children now we are in three years so the shoulder measurements now for three years we have nine we have nine for four, 
four years now right for four years we have nine years now we have 9.5 four years we have 9.5 for five years we have 10 inches 10 inches 10 inches so for six years now we have 10.5 for six years we have 10.5 for eight years we have five years now for five years we have 10 for five years we have 10 for six years six years we have 10.5 for 8 years now, we are going to have 11 inches. For 10 years, we have 11.5. And for 12 years, we have 12 inches. Now, you will discover that, taking a look at these shoulder measurements, you discover that it just varies with about 0.5 inches. So you have 9, 9.5, 10, 10.5, 11, 11.5, and 12. And that is because the shoulder measurement for children just have like little difference in age okay because they don't have this wild shoulder or like a big shoulder do you understand so i hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know if you want me to make a measurement on the main size chart okay comment that below and i'm going to put up a tutorial on how to achieve measurements for men the size charts for men now the next thing we are going to look at now is the neckline you will also discover that the neck that is how many inches will you take to give you like the neck for children it is not like adult or for female size whereby you have like a wild neckline and all of that so for children dresses their neckline is always very little so that they won't be exposed to cold and all of that so you should also put that into consideration when you want to get like your children um neckline that your neckline shouldn't be too wild because most times children neckline are just basically small to cover up their necks and all of that unlike adults whereby you can have like a wild shoulder you can have all of that going on for the neckline so now we are going to look we are going to look at the neckline so the neckline for three months the neckline for three months is 3.25 the neckline for three months is 3.25 so if the shoulder is eight inches and then the neck is three inches this 2.5 is basically like your sewing allowance okay so if the neck is about three inches so you have five inches that will fall this way and don't forget that the fabrics or your fabric will be folded into two so when it's folded into two and then you go ahead and mark four inches for your shoulder right your shoulder measurement is 8 on a single fold. Now, when you fold your fabric into 2, you are going to mark 4 inches. So, if you are marking 4 inches for your shoulder, and then your neckline is 3.25, which is just about 1.25, so you can see that your neckline is going to be small, because that is like the basic for children's size chart. They don't have like a wild neckline and all of that. So, now for 6 months, for 6 months now, the neckline will also be 3.25 3.25 now for 12 months we have 3.5 that is like one year 12 months and one year is the same you have 3.5 for two years also you also have 3.5 now for, for six months also we have 3.25 for 12 months, which is one year, we have 3.5. 3.5. For two years also, we have 3.5. Now for three years, for three years also, we also have 3.5. We also have 3.5. So I skipped these three years earlier on. So we have 3.5. Now for four years now, for four years, we have 3.75. We have 3.75 for 4 years. For 5 years, we also have 3.75. 3.75. For 6 years also, we have 3.75. For 6 years also, we have 3.75. Now for 8 years, 8 years, we have 4 inches. 
10 years we have 4 inches and for 12 years we also have 4 inches so these are the measurements required in you have to consider now is the arm o so i hope you guys are learning a lot from this tutorial if you are please give this video a thumbs up like share and drop a comment let me know if you guys are really understanding this and if you want me to put up a measurement on a video on main size charts and also from 12 years and above you can just drop that in the comment section and i'm going to put up such videos so now the next thing we are going to look at now is the arm hole and it's also necessary for you to note that your arm hole is accurate and is right even though you are dealing with children measurement because you don't want them to have this um you don't want to make a dress and at the end of the day they can't actually raise up their hands and for 3.25 the ammo measurements for the ammo measurement for three months is 3.25 so i'm going to say that please you can check out like the detailed size chart you can see like we have so many boxes and this is like my website okay so i'm going to just put down the link in the description box so you can go ahead and check out my website where we have the comprehensive size charts we have the comprehensive size charts and you can also go ahead and print it out from the website so i'm going to go ahead and link it in the description box the ammo is 3.75 so for two years your ammo depth is four inches what we are looking at is the ammo depth okay so the ammo depth is four inches ammo depth is four inches now for three years the ammo depth is 4.25 4.25 for the ammo depth for four years the ammo three years we have 4.25 for three years we have 4.25 so for four years now we have 4.5 for four years we have 4.5 now for five years we have 4.75 4.75 for five years now for six years we have five for eight years, we have 5.5. We have 5.5. For 10 years, we have 6. And for 12 years, we have 6.5. So these are the ammo depths required in order for you to achieve your children size charts. I just decided to add is from the measurement from your shoulder to your waistline now especially when you want to make dresses such as ball gown which is like the most common or the regular style for children it is also necessary for you to know like your shoulder to your waistline in order for you to know where you will have like your basic dress and also where you have the ball effect i'd like to show you guys how to get the measurement for your shoulder to your waist from three months to 12 months okay so you guys i hope you guys understand and sorry for not including this earlier on now what are the measurements required your back to waist for three months is 6.5 6.5 back to waist which is also known as shoulder to waist is 6.5 for six months we have seven inches for six months we have seven for 12 months we have seven. For 12 months now which is also known as one year we have 7.5 now for two years for two years we have eight inches for three years we have 8.75 we have 8.75 so for four years four years now we have 9.5 for four years we have 9.5 for five years we have 10.5 five years we have 10.5 for six years we have 11.5 we have 11.5 for eight years now we have 12.5 and for six years we have 12.5 for 10 years now for 10 years we have 13.5 we have 13.5 and for 12 years we have 14 point five so these are the basic measurements required are the measurements required for your children's size charts we have the bust waist hip arm or your neckline your shoulder measurements and your waist to your 
waistline so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know if you have any question in the course of this tutorial or you want in my next video bye